You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. It's been a long ride, but we're just really excited to see everything come together. Sweat, sunburns, and months of planning went into building a pop-up park in Champaign's Garden Hills neighborhood. A crew, including many of our own WCIA 3 staff, were a part of the final day of preparation. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. This has been a community effort to achieve victory over violence. My coworkers and I were out there helping make that soccer field as part of our Founders Day of Caring. Now, Renee Cooper is out there, just part of a much bigger project. Well, Jennifer, the city set aside between 12 and $15 million to pour into making this neighborhood a safer, more structurally sound place to live. But those projects are still a while out. Now, the Garden Hills Association president told me today he's been asking the city to be more proactive about concerns consistently brought to city council. And that is exactly what this park is about. A pop-up park on Hedge Road is getting its final touches before a grand opening. It's the only play space for about four to 500 homes on the south side of Garden Hills. Some aren't waiting for the ribbon to be cut. Four-year-old Zaire Algy is a fan favorite among the city crew building the park. We'll play over there. On the dirt, basketball. And a whole lot of biking. This project is actually to build a uh, drainage basin that will solve flooding problems in the neighborhood. The pop-up park is a positive placeholder until the long-awaited neighborhood project breaks ground next July. People have to walk in the streets with no sidewalks. And sometimes they're flooded and no lights at night, and it's not a safe situation. Blocks of houses on the north side of Hedge Road were cleared out in the last year in preparation, creating this space and a couple of additional issues Zaire's grandpa, Robert Mullins, sees from his front porch. They had what I guess a weekend parties every weekend, Friday, Saturday, up and down through here. I heard that's part of why the street tree stumps are there to block people it, from parking it, up there it, for that. It, 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 it don't stop them. Mullins admits it stopped people from parking in the open space. Now they got the parallel park. Rob Kowalski with City Planning says cars likely frequent the space because parking isn't allowed on the side streets. But the city is considering changing that when they rebuild Hedge Road and a couple other neighborhood streets. Something those here with kids are looking forward to. Once that gets done, if you got a place out there where they can ride the bike, they will actually will keep them out of the street. But they come through here 75, 80 miles an hour every day. Not when that stop sign, it should say go instead of stop. I'm serious. The solution is still a couple of years out. In the meantime, Mullins keeps an eye on Zaire, who is thrilled with the new amenities. Now, this pop-up park is filling an immediate gap in the neighborhood. For the, it'll be here for the next 18 months. There is going to be a bigger, more permanent park in the years to come. And Kowalski says they need to first figure out exactly how much space that basin is going to take up first. And they also want more input from about what people want, like parents, kids, and even grandparents in the area uh, before they begin plans on that. Live in Champaign, Renee Cooper, WCIA3, your local news leader. Yeah, it definitely won't just be a big hole. They're going to make it nice out there for the people in that neighborhood. All right, Renee, thank you. Now, the Papa Park isn't going to sit idle. Programs will be going all summer long. The Hip Hop Express crew will be out running the remote-controlled car race track every Monday and Thursday from 5 to 7. Every week, there'll be something different. On top of that, the city is looking for ideas. If you have them, we will show you how to share those ideas. Just go to WCIA.com. Two people in Iroquois County are recovering.